Hey everybody, this video is about components, component quality. So if you did a little bit of research on just different brands out there, or you saw some of the reviews that I did, uh, you'll notice that Thermosol is generally the main company that talks a lot about their component quality, and they advertise that a lot, which I think is good. You know, Now there are some other companies that also have very good component quality. They don't really talk about it, which I think is not the smartest thing. They should definitely advertise that fact. But this is something that uh, most companies, again, just will not talk about. Sometimes it's hard to come by their information. Again, you want to look for all the standard certifications uh, that are kind of really most important. Again, a lot of those certifications are expensive. So if you don't see those, uh, that's a red flag that basically they, it's just a cheaper company. They didn't want to spend the money. And, and usually their generators are on the lower end of the price point. Uh, you might even see them on eBay and things like that. Not necessarily eBay is always bad, but again, you seem like they're Alibaba trading, if you've ever heard of that company. So component quality, man, this is so important. Uh, you know, you can have, uh, this is a perfect case. You know, I get and I see a client, uh, they've purchased a generator, and we go in and we test it. It was not a unit that I recommended, but I did an analysis. Uh, and uh, everything actually looked okay in terms of how dry the steam was, uh, the heat index, um, and just the, kind of all the different like basic tests that I've done that you might have seen in the seeing is believing section that I do out in the field. And, you know, I come back uh, nine months later because, you know, obviously this person has some complaints. And I tested again, and there's definitely some significant differences in the, the actual vapor quality. Um, completely different. It's actually a much wetter steam. Uh, you can actually even notice it condensing and precipitating, like literally coming out of the air. Uh, visually, you can notice a difference. So uh, opening up that tank, uh, you know, we'll notice that there's a lot of corrosion already, a lot of issues with the heating element in particular. Um, also, right where it sprays out at the end of that pipe, um, I mean, there was just kind of a variety of things. I noticed a lot of problems. Uh, I could just tell. And again, this is something that consumers will not do. They don't have the, the, just the means, you know, to have multiple generators that they've opened up, they've compared, you know, part to part, which is what I've done uh, between brands. And you'd be able to really touch and feel and notice. Sometimes you can't always tell the difference in quality of you know steel right per se and that's when we actually ask for a manufacturer's spec okay but a lot of things you can and you can start to really notice that you know when you open some of these units it's just poorly designed um, and that's how a lot of times they specifically design them uh, so they can keep on selling you know new units that's the truth of how some of these companies operate Anyways, component quality is super important. If you have any questions about brands you're considering or you want to get a brand that basically lasts as long as possible, uh, you know, because in general, these higher grade of brands, I never get calls about people making any complaints or anything like that. You know, I'm always collecting complaint reports and reviews and all sorts of things. Uh, so, yeah, just ask me if you kind of want to do that or if you don't have an issue with getting a new generator in a few years. I can also recommend things on a tighter budget. But uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching.